Hey guys, it's Tuesday and um, I woke up feeling like, he well actually went to bed feeling like heavy and groggy, new moon tonight, I'm a moon child, so um, I really wanted to do something fun and new, so I put together an indoor board workout, it's going to be a little cray cray, and that's okay, you guys have this, we've got this together, um, if you don't have an indoor board, Hit the link, the first uh, post on my um, Facebook feed has the link for the YouTube channel. So hit the link there and jump into one of the um, workouts that was already up there. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button while you're there. Otherwise, here's our deal for this morning. Um, we're still gonna follow through with you know the normal flow, ebb and flow of what we've been doing. So we're going to set up our endo board and we're going to do um, squats on it, step off lunges, and then a static squat. So it's going to be look like this. So we're going to hop up, get our balance, and then come into our squat. So we're gonna do 14, 12, and 10 of those. Then we're gonna step off, and we're gonna come into our lunges. So we're gonna stand on it, lunge back, come back up. So uh, it's a little close to impossible for me to move through with both up, but you can really feel this one. And then our third is just a static squat. So, whoo! Get up and stay up, and we'll just hold our squat, and that's going to be our three today. So since I'm up, I'm going to stay up, and let's get into our first round with sets of 14. Here we go. Finding your stability. Two. and 14 good news for you guys today can't really talk and balance so you won't hear me babble as much so coming into it you still need balance you still need to grip your toes and your heels onto the floor and step up using your core so you don't bang down we're lunging back with both feet for one Two, three, you hear that little roll, four, all right, all right, coming into four, and now four, keep breathing, exhale as you come up, Woo! <laughs> that's why you don't talk when you do these. As soon as I was going to open my mouth thinking these ones are a little easier, I ate it. So, do as I say and not as I do. If that scared you, you can step down a little bit more in the board where that's less likely to happen. I'm stepping out where I need balance because that gives us the added abs. And 
actually, instead of the static squat, which is just fun and getting used to balance, but we're going to be on there with the squats and also in our arms holding. I'm going to switch it up. We're going to do bridges with leg lifts. It won't look like much, but trust me, you're going to feel this. So we're going to sit down and turn our board to the side. And then we're going to come onto our back. Our feet are on the board. You're going to want the feet in center, in the center of the board as much as possible. Top the hands down. Lift the hips high. And pause that leg up. Or actually, lower it halfway down. Woo and pull it up. We're going to do one side at a time. Exhaling as you come up. Really feel the burn in the standing hamstring. Don't throw that leg up. Pull it up. Space when I was a bit. <laughs> He's a nicer person than me, I would have been laughing. Three, four, keep that foot flexed. The score works right up the hamstrings into the glutes. To our second round where we have reps of 12. So before we do that, quick grab a sip of water, keep yourself hydrated. Set yourself up, get your balance, and then do your squats. Obviously, we're not going down as far as normal, and that's fine. You can take these squats all the way down and tap your board, but not in set, uh, sets of 14, 12, and 10, and everything else we're doing. So, not killing ourselves in the first round. All right. And 12. I may never make it to 12. <laughs> Super slow going. Nine. Eleven. And 12. Coming down and into our lunges. Keeping an eye on where you are. And stepping back. Make sure we don't go too far forward like I did. <laughs> One. So lunging back, exhaling as we come back up. You want to make sure you take a nice walk after this, even if it's around your house.
Turn it around for those bridges. This side. Switch our board to the side. So much fun to be had on these boards. But if you're, I pulled mine out a little while ago and haven't really been taking advantage of it. So this is one way to get back into it. All right. Bringing yourself down, top of the hands down, feet on the roll, or roller, come up, engage the core the whole time, right leg comes up, halfway down and pull it up, exhaling up, how far I went on that last one. That's a little bit of cheat. We don't want to come up past 90 degrees. Try to stay at 80. Set that right foot down. Get it strong. Find your stability in your core. Left leg comes up. Let those hips drop. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Coming down, turn your board around so it's ready to go for our third and final round. one of these boards we don't need to say that if it's not on a raw if it's on cement you want it on a rug or just use your yoga mat when you're learning new things on it alrighty I'm gonna take one more sip of water and get into our third and final leg set of the day or the morning maybe you're a beast Maybe you're going to run through this later in the afternoon. Alrighty, hopping up, sets of 10. So find your stability on your board. You always find one way is going to be easier for you to get up. And on your own, 10. Press through your toes. Four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna force it by my bounce before I finish them. Last three. into our lunges so we're gonna get on that board again engage your core your core is gonna be engaged the whole time otherwise you're gonna keep fighting it <laughs> so going back really high up there in that center. Keep an eye on your foot placement.
down to our last two. Maybe challenging yourself a little bit more. Keep moving through this. And again, like I was saying, there's a new moon tonight. So I've been asked to do a couple of stretching yoga classes. I'm going to do that tonight. Add in a couple because I, when I was talking, I did a little bit of a cheat and pulled up on one or two of those. All right. And again, I'd like to hop right up, keep that energy level high, grab your drink of water or towel. And now we're going to get into our abs. So for our abs today, we can start with the board as it is. And we're going to come into plank. Our feet are going to be in the board. Actually, we're going to turn the board around for that too. So let's turn the board around because for all three, we'll really have the board. And the long version. So I'm putting the board down here. I'm going to lift both sides of the board and I'm going to bring my feet on it and lift my legs. So what it's going to end up looking like, maybe toss this back a tiny bit more. Hopefully I stay in frame. Things I don't do enough of is checking this stuff before we take it live. So I'm lifting the board. Holding my plank, lifting one leg at a time. Not high, same thing like we just did. You wanna keep it low in control and keep it stronger. And then I'm gonna sit on my board. I'm gonna keep it high. I'm gonna roll it forward just to make sure I'm in frame. I think I am. Who knows when I come back. So I'm gonna come back onto the board. Come in a little bit forward. I'm gonna bring my hands down, just my fingertips. I'm gonna lift my legs and extend and crunch. So little to no weight on my fingertips. And then I'm gonna tap one foot down and pull it up, the other foot down and pull it up. You're gonna feel these suckers. All right guys, and since we're here, we're gonna start with those two. So, coming into the easier one first, just to warm up the core, lift those legs up, squeeze them in and extend. The hands are really there just so you don't fall. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. I need to come slightly forward on my board. 
And let's set up for the second round. All right, legs are lifted. Tap, tap. Bring your toes down. Bring your chest forward, shoulders back. my stomach, not a dog. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, yeah, yeah, one more. Whew. Yikes. <laughs> Let's come into our third and final. Setting ourselves up. into his nice strong peg. enjoy it right now before we go into round two. Oh, I know not everybody has an endo board, but we've been doing a lot of home workouts. And for those of us that do, it's something new to add in, keeping it fresh, keeping it fun. Fortunately, some people are getting out of isolation right now. The rest of us, not so lucky. We have to keep these things motivating and fun and challenging. Um, so like once a week, like last week, we did the skateboard. Next week it'll be a workout with the surfboard. So I'm gonna to try to change it up every now and then. We'll add a jump rope one. So let's continue this one. And like I said, when we do things and you don't have that piece of equipment for the day, we have I have so many classes now on YouTube, you can go back through them and find one. There's some good ones, worth repeating. All right, legs up, crunch. Keeping them heels high. Eight, 10, and tap. taking a sip of water. It's a nice thing about in between our sets when we have that 30 seconds to a minute rest time. Really great to hydrate. You don't want to wait until you're thirsty. Then you're already dehydrated. <sighs> All right, round two. I mean round three. So we only have sets of 10. And and get right back into it. 
So coming onto your board, fingertips there. Not really holding the weight, keeping that chest forward to make sure we don't. Coming a little bit forward. So when we roll back and lift up, we're nice and good. One, two, three, four, five, six, woo! I gotta do seven over. And tap. Then toes come down, keeping that chest forward. Five, halfway there. Whew. Two more. And ten. All right. Slipping, flipping around. <laughs> Sipping and flipping. Hands come out in front of you. Pull into that plank pose. Find that stability and lift. today is our, our, our arms. So we only have that left before we can enjoy the rest of this beautiful Tuesday. And however you're going to do it, maybe tap into your creativity, maybe relax, maybe cook. Let me know how you're handling your quarantine what skills you've learned or, and one of those skills might just be sitting quietly. <laughs> That's not an easy skill for most of us. All right, for our arms today, we're gonna be doing tricep dips. We're gonna be on the board and do overhead rows and uneven push-ups. So I'm gonna keep the board this way and show you how we do this. Uneven push-ups, just one hand on the board for seven, and then we'll switch for the other seven. Um, our tricep push-ups, similar. Actually, we're gonna turn the board for them. So I'm gonna show you the rows first. <laughs> Sorry. Make sure we're still in. Bring this back a little bit. Sure it's nice and even stepping up and we're just pulling up once I start talking I lose it all right so there are underhand over underhand rows and our tricep dips are when we turn the board. Sorry, I didn't have my coffee yet today. I have to think things, double think and sometimes triple think, right? So in our tricep dips, we're gonna be in front of the board. Keep your hands in the front. You don't want your hands on the edge of the board. Keep on top if you're doing that. It'll be a little easier with the wider hands, but you also could fall on them. So coming forward, keeping those hips high, bending those elbows and pushing up. So we're not lifting through the hips, we're pulling the hips up with the arms. That's where the workout comes in. Alrighty, so actually, since I have the board like this, I'll do my push-ups this way. So let's get into it. Seven and seven on each, or I'm sorry, 14 and 14 on each side. Setting yourself up and go. Three. Really push through your fingertips. We're going to come around to the other side. This 
by moving our board opposite side of our mat and go again. my tricep dips. So I just sit in front of it, bring my feet out, lift my hips, and dip. By the way, if you don't have an indoor board and you have like a volleyball or a basketball, you could do that. Put that underneath your skateboard and that would work as well. All right. Actually be a little lower and you have the skateboard wheel. Ouch! For a bonus security so you're not going down. So if you have an indoor board and you haven't been using it, you might want to start with that just to get used to it, to the balance. The thing about the balance board that's nice, what I like, it's functional fitness. We're learning to move through our core strength. All right, guys, setting ourselves up. And pull and then Two more. Go with bigger weights. I thought that extra balance might change it up, so adjust accordingly. Oh, take your drink of water or dab off your sweat, or if you glisten, dab off your glistening. And let's set this up. We're going to come back into it right away so we have our uneven push-ups to begin so bring your board to the front of your mat and one hand on make sure your fingertips are gripping the entire time you do this setting yourself up really pushing yourself up Tricep dips, turning this around so I'm not facing the sun. Not what I was thinking, I don't have to go forward anyway. All right, set 
setting yourself up. So I like to start, easiest way to start is from the ground. Find that stability, bend those elbows and straighten those arms to lift the hips. Two, three, four, five. Exhale up. Eleven and twelve. And last but not least, let's come into those overhead underarm. Let's wait, do we have to do this? I'm not sure. This would be a nut double. Like I said, no coffee this morning. Now this is our second set. Because the first one I realized I could go with bigger weights. And the second one I said, not today. <laughs> I don't feel like I want to get that. <laughs> All right. And row. and 12. I'm going to add two more since I kept the smaller weights. Alrighty. Oh, quick drink of water and then we have round three. I don't do a lot of cardio classes because cardio can be so many different things. You can have so much fun with it. With it. One thing I like to do for cardio, um, granted I am a dork, is I like to uh, turn on some good dance music and I will endo board for a song, just like woo woo woo, have fun just moving around on the board, holding it still is a nice hard workout. So I basically do this for one song. When that song's over, I hula hoop for a song. When that second song's over, I just dance like a crazy woman for a song. And I do that four or five rounds, work up a sweat and have fun with cardio. So lots of different things. Again, love to hear what you're doing for cardio. You can always put that in the comment section. And now we're going into our third and final round of our um, arms. So we only have reps of 10. Let's take the board to the front of the mat. Turning it around for our uneven push-ups and getting right into it, nice and strong, exhaling as we come up and go. Eight, nine, ten, taking the board to the other side. And doing our second side, 10 more right here. And down we go, and up. Eight, four, eight, nine, and 10. Ah. And let's come into our tricep dips. And if you're tuning in late, or you were just working too hard earlier, um, I had said that later today, to this evening, I will be doing a yin class, a deep stretching class for the new moon. And I'll be doing that at eight o'clock Eastern time. It's a great class to do to relax yourself for the night. If you are a moon child like me and you do um, new moon rituals, it's a perfect way to begin a new moon, new moon ritual. But before we do that, 10 more tricep dips. <laughs> Eight. 
What? Talking like Elmer Fudd, but instead of, was it Elmer Fudd yet? Instead of just spitting, I am spitting sweat. So good to know that this was an effective workout. I was really excited um, to get this one out of the way, not out of the way, like in the box. I just was stoked to give it a try, and I'm glad I did. I hope you guys had fun with it. Good way to take advantage of stuff we have in our house that we probably bought and didn't really use as much as we thought we would. All right, 10. Have a wonderful Tuesday. Hopefully I'll see you tonight for the end class. We'll really stretch out the back. And if not, tomorrow there is a power yoga class, 9 a.m. Eastern time. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the YouTube channel. Adios, Mofos, and I'm out. <laughs>